see what you can, everything has value, right? You have value, right? Your, your, your own beliefs about yourself determine your value in a sense. And, you know, just um, be patient. Patient is your power, baby. Patient is our power. Right? Patience is Come on, er, er, man. Patience is er, everyone. Yeah, patience. Come on, man. Be patient. It's not going to happen overnight. I'm gonna get up. You just got to be patient. <laughs> <laughs> Always then remember, you guys, comment, like, subscribe. If you want to be better. If you, okay, let me. Mm. If you want to be better. Disclaimer. Disclaimer. If you want to stay the same and you do not want to get better, don't subscribe. Hey. <laughs> don't subscribe. If you want to stay in pain <laughs> and you don't want to get no lay, don't subscribe. One more time. One more time. We the Vitality Ham, but we giving it to you raw. Welcome to the Vitality Handbook. My name is Yao A. Uwusu Jr. You know I'm your resident Vitality Consultant. As always, Andre Bivens Jr., Nicholas Lopez Jr., we are the Vitality Handbook. Without further ado, we are going to have a conversation on mindset. We know that's pillar number one. You see his shirt. Be multidimensional. When you say more than an athlete, that's what it means. Don't be just. Ask more from yourself. So we're going to get into the mentality of what it takes to be an optimized human being. You thought I was going to say athlete, an optimized oh. human being. Fellas, the mindset pillar is deep. We've had probably our most conversations on mindset, but I have a feeling this is going to be very special, very special. So let's just have a conversation. Where do you guys want to go with this? Yeah, that was a great intro. <laughs> Shout out to my boy, Yao. As always, you know how that goes. I want, I'm wondering what Yao's thinking about when he, when he says uh, we have something special in the works. But personally, I definitely want to speak about and ask the audience or ask people out there, are you trying to get results out of life? I'm, just, mm. I'm, just, I'm actually curious. Like, how do, you, mm. how do you guys think about results? How, 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 what's your drive to pursue results on a day-to-day -day basis? Now, I'm kind of thinking of, I'm questioning all my thought patterns as we, as we build community at RFX Studios, okay. Gramercy. I'm kind of questioning all my thought patterns. Well, you went through that pretty quickly as we do what with RFX Studios, Gramercy? We're doing what? As we build community. Oh, we're building community. Are we part of that community? I mean, you're part of that community. <laughs> um, so, you know, uh, I'm, I'm wondering, I guess the first question, I definitely want to hear... And I'm, I heard you say something earlier that we'll get into that. Ready. Whenever you're ready. Yes, sir. I definitely want to just ask from the get-go, quick, short attention span. Yes, sir. Why are results so important to you? Why not? What's the opposite of results? What's the opposite of result, real quick? Op uh, death. <laughs> death. Death, death <laughs> is... <laughs> Dre, death. what's the... <laughs> what's Listen, the ahead, let me expand on this. When, uh, I say, I'm, I'm, when I say death, if you maintain the same, then you will fall behind. And you're either going forward in life Staying still is going backwards. That's it. So when I say death, if you don't continue to thrive, then you slowly die. As we yes. age, we are getting closer to whatever end we're going to perceive in this life or the next, whatever you believe. If you guys understand, then you understand. But what I'm saying is you always want to be better than you were yesterday. Why? And the reason being is because if you're not better than you're staying the same, then you're being left behind. That's what if... What's, what's wrong with that? Well, what's if wrong with staying the same? What if, if, I'm, com what if, if I'm comfortable with myself? If you, stay, if you stay in the past and you're not looking to go into the future, whatever you had before, you're going to be stuck with that again. So if you, want diff if you want a different outcome. Now, let me put it like this. Perfect. If you're not wanting a different outcome that you have right now, then you're on the right path. If you're at where you're at and you're like, boom, this is perfect. Nothing can get better. Your perception... Is, this is perfect, which I only think perfection is progression. Yes. You see him saying, I don't believe in perfection because I don't know what is better than what it is now. So I'm always striving to be better than I was. So what I harp on that is if you're okay with whatever outcome you have now, which majority of people are not, if you're honest with yourself and you're really, really honest with yourself and you're not 100% 
okay with where you're at, then that means you want better. Yeah. And the only way you're going to get better is to have change. The only constant in this universe is change. Now, if you want to get better, that's results. And if you want results, you're going to have to do what we're talking about today. And that is mastering your mindset, period. You have to master it. I'm not talking about sharpening your mindset. I'm not talking about having a better mindset. I'm talking about mastery of mindset. And that takes into consideration what most people, I know Nick is going to harp on this, and that's emotional intelligence. Now, we walk, we walk you through this. Check back. Check the receipts about vitality quotient, right? You have your emotional quotient. You have your what? Intelligence quotient. So we know those things. But when we're talking about emotional intelligence, you can't master your mindset unless you have that. So I'm hoping we can get something from Nick when we're talking about emotional intelligence and pertaining to the mindset pillar. Yeah, I mean, I'm, Is there a connection? I'll, there? I'll, I'll, I'm going to go with, um, I'm going to keep it simple, then I'll hand it yeah. off uh, back to you. So I, for me, you know, when I think about emotional intelligence, obviously there's so many layers to it, but I think that um, emotional intelligence it requires you to actually not make decisions on your emotions, being emotional. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> that's the wrong thing to do. Whoa. That's, so, that is 100%. <laughs> oh, my God. What? Say it again. What Yo, did I say? On. No. Rewind the tape. Nah. Rewind the tape. Emotional Yo, intelligence actually simple? requires you, you not to make decisions on, on your emotions. emotions. Yeah. If you're intelligent you're about man. your emotions, mm -hmm. you'll know how to control you'll know how to think with, you know, because you have to trust what you're going to go with your mind, your heart, your whatever, whatever, whatever. So, you know, yeah. Yo. I mean, we can stop, we can stop this conversation I, right I, now, bro. <laughs> like, what the fuck? Why am I struggling <laughs> out here thinking about how to speak to these people <laughs> that don't, like, you know, that need a, you know, shock. Something simple. They need something complex and simple at the same time. So yeah. I'm getting to a new level of, like, expertise yes. mm -hmm. and experience where I have to think about like all my complicated aspirations and yeah. thoughts and, and experiences and, and, and simplify it. Yeah. And it's like fun. It's yeah. fun, but it's like br the brain never stops turning. So it's right. funny. I mean, <laughs> literally that's just rewind the tape and listen to what he said. At least about think, 15 like, times. There's no other way to say that. I mean, I can break, yeah. I can make it more complicated. Mm -hmm. So like, let's go with our, to, to, you know, to give you something, because I know how he, like, operates. So right. let's say, let's do categories or something, like, giving you a, yeah. a, of how, like, okay, emotional intelligence, this is the, the top five things that are required, or let's say, if you have, if you answer these five questions right, your emotional intelli intelligence is, is good. So okay. some type of assessment yeah. on what emotional intelligence yeah. is. Yeah. I think so Nick actually has something. No, no, right? yeah. I, I was already, that's interesting that okay. you, that's Dang, good. That's why I just said it's good. Yeah, he's on it. Um, alley -oop. Well, well, I actually said this. Bang. Say alley -oop. Oh, shit. Say alley Go ahead. Ah, ah. Hey. I just passed it. Is that possible? Nah, actually, bro. Can... alley -oop, you got to dunk. You got to dunk. What if I caught dunk. it? Like That's some uh, like Globetrotters. Yeah. That's Globetrotters. Playing around. Yeah. 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 That'd be interesting. Yeah. Globetrotters. Shout out to the Globetrotters. Shout out to yeah, the Globetrotters. Shout out to the Globetrotters, um, man. On EQ. What's What's Why is that important? Like. Dre said to make sure you're not making decisions based on emotions. Mm -hmm. And why is that important? Why, why don't you want to make decisions off of, uh, off of emotional feelings? Well, that, yeah. Oh, go ahead. You're going to answer. Go ahead. Uh, no, I'm saying I'm just kind of, I'll keep what I have in my mind. I just want to kind of get to the why. You said why you shouldn't? Why you shouldn't? Because you said. Um, I'll tell you. So you shouldn't because how many mistakes have we all made? And we say, damn. If you're in tune, right. or you're aware, or you take accountability right. for it, you'd be like, damn, I made that decision with my, emotion, with my emotions. I reacted right. first right. Um, versus thinking. Oh, mm -hmm. so react, yeah. So what's, but let's say in the, in the performance space, mm -hmm. reaction timing is, is, is key. Yes. People try to improve their reaction time. Mm -hmm. I feel like you're also trying to do that with EQ, right? With emotional intelligence. You're trying to improve your reaction quality. Mm -hmm. That's another yeah. way yeah, to it's simplify, it's, right? Mm -hmm. So it's like. But, you know, reaction is important. Yeah. In the sports world, you got the oh yeah flashy lights, you right. got whatever drills are out there, but also you can do the same thing for your emotions. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. 
Yeah. I mean, I, I, I think you should never act on emotions because they're fleeting. They're, they're not real, right? You could be sad one day, mad one hour, mm -hmm. happy the next minute. They're fleeting. What's real is what Nick talked about before is changing your outcome, mm -hmm. right? So if you really want to be able to change your outcome, you have to change your behavior. And behavior change requires you to be able to have emotional intelligence, for you to be able to have self-awareness, have yeah. self-belief, have self-discipline, right? And the discipline is don't react very quickly if someone says something about you because it's really about them, right? Mm -hmm. As long as you know the truth and your authenticity, you have no worries to take it personal. Now, we know with the four agreements, what he talked about, do not take things personally. We have to understand that's another way to kind of master your mindset there as well. Mm -hmm. So I actually like that you were able to circle back to the coaching element. Right. And then I lost my train of thought, so we're going <laughs> to... <laughs> well, I mean, well, go going into the coaching element, you always want to think about how you're going to coach. So let's say we're coaching a client. This is the advice we would give to you. So you're getting some free advice here, right? Yeah. We're coaching the client, and we're trying to help them on their emotional intelligence. One... How are you stepping into a training session? Mm. You're sore, you're hurt, you might be a little injured, you might be embarrassed, you've never done the drills that we told you to do before, everyone's watching. Mm. How can you control your emotions to stay in the process? And I think people get out of the discipline of staying true to the process. And like we like to say, in the process we trust. Mm. And every single person that is at what you would call the pinnacle, they have learned to control their emotions. Just, mm -hmm. just you name it, right? They've, in some, in some sense, manage. I wouldn't even say control. Say, it's all about channel. management. I wouldn't yeah. even say channel. Channel. You and to do, me, you gotta do something with that energy. Yes. Right? Place it somewhere mm -hmm. else. Mm -hmm. Instead of you know going and hitting somebody because they cut you off, being able to take that into your craft and use that to stay disciplined and stay focused. And I think discipline is a big thing. And I would say what I want to harp on when we're talking about emotional intelligence or mastering your mindset is the discipline aspect. We can sit here and talk until we're blue in the face. Mm -hmm. But if you don't take what we say or do your own searches or research to actually apply this, then you're going to stay the same. And I would go back to what Nick was talking about. What's the problem with staying the same? You're not really staying the same. You're going backwards because we said the universe is constantly moving. So if you're staying in the same, you're being left behind. If you're being left behind, that's, that's dead. Things in the past are dead. They're done. That's what I was saying when I said either you progress, right, or you die. Straight up. Adapt or die. Straight up. I mean, that's the survival of the um, do or die mentality that you hear in your favorite songs. Um, say get rich or, or die trying. That's it, man. Mentality. Yeah. It's not... It's more about the energy of it. Like when you listen to that album, music is more about the energy of it versus just what the words are. You have, to be, able to, exactly. you have to be able to look deeper. Emotional. Think, exactly. Don't, don't get triggered by the don't statement. Don't get triggered. And just like see what you can. Everything has value, right? You have value, right? Your, your, your own beliefs about yourself determine your value in a sense. Mm. And then I like, I want to circle back to what I mentioned about your point. I like that you circled it back and, and mentioned the behavioral change element. Mm -hmm. So why are we talking about our pillars? Why are we talking about this in particular? The discipline with making sure you don't make decisions only with emotions, right? That you improve your emotional reactivity, right? Mm. It's because we have to think about behavioral change. So I want to stay on the topic, but we are, anybody you work with, when it comes to trying to transform yourself, right? Or empower yourself, they should understand some element of it or have a conversation with, with you about it. And that's why we're extremely passionate about it so we could speak about it. Right. Episode after episode after episode after episode. But the core element really is that we're, what does, like, the core element is behavior change. Or what does that mean? It's like change. And what does change mean? Progress. What does progress mean? You know, change means uh, uh, getting out of your comfort zone. I think that's mm, the big yeah. thing. And that's, and that's where you feel that's what's waiting that you're waiting for yourself on the other side of change changes change 
change, people are scared of change because it's uncomfortable. So getting out of your comfort comfort Come zone, zone. is just uncomfortable getting. Yeah. But growth is uncomfortable. Yeah. I'm saying, growth, so, yeah, so I'm all saying, those things. That's what I'm saying. Your yeah. your best version is waiting for you on the other yeah, side. Yeah, I of like change. that. I see yeah. how you. Yeah, it was perfect. Yeah. It's literally waiting for you on the other side of change. Yeah. So yeah. what we do is just make sure that you don't get hit by no car when you're crossing <laughs> the street. Yeah. Or you don't get scared and turn back. Mm. This is where you're at now. Mm. Like that. Yeah. The street is called Change Road, <laughs> and on the other side of you is yourself. Self actualization. Mm-hmm. Right. That. And so our job is to just make sure that that journey is as smooth as possible. And we're passionate about that. So when we talk about uh, Yao talking about discipline, definitely want to uh, hone in on the way that I, you know, right, the way that emotional intelligence is broken down and like, let's say HBR's, uh, there's, a, there's a book called HBR on leadership. And the first chapter covers emotional intelligence. Okay, so this is where everybody's speaking from all different schools of thought and perspectives. Mm-hmm. Um, but Yao says discipline, have the discipline to master your mindset. Mm-hmm. Now, what does that, what's another way to say that? All right, if you're, maybe another way to get the message across is technically, if I think about the five categories of EQ, self-regulation would probably be the, the one that you have to be most disciplined to at the very least. So what would least. be the five? The five are self-regulation, self-awareness, this is going to be a good content. This is going to be a good debate coming up. The five are you choose, you, you weigh in, give, give us your opinion. Uh, which one you think is the most important out of these five when it comes to the, the core elements of emotional intelligence? You have self awareness, self regulation, motivation, empathy, and social skill. The reason I say self regulation, maybe it's, it's a personal thing. Mm-hmm. Like our environments growing up, create a lot of energy, you know, Mm -hmm. and I think it's important to be able to regulate through that because we, we can see in various examples, not just in one specific area or one specific race, just, just people. Okay. We look at the science of people and and human and being, we don't have to add all these other filters. We're not trying to filter out restaurants like you're ordering from the food. Okay. Just people are people. All right. So we think about that. Um, and we're aware of what's aware of most issues. It could be, hundred different type of issues. Right. It's like, I feel that when you don't have any other option, when your back's against the wall, self-regulation is, is what's going to give you that ability to literally take a step forward for whatever reason. Trauma is holding you in place or pulling you back. Like, you have to feel all that weight. Right whatever that weight may be, and self-regulate, and then hit those other four. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I agree, because when I hear self-regulation, uh, you're regulating something, you're managing something, and that's what I'm getting out of it. So when I hear the correlation of self-regulation, you're regulating yourself, you're managing yourself. Mm. You're managing those trigger words or trigger things you might hear, understanding that, digesting it, and using that energy that you digested those negative thoughts for and putting them in its per, its real perspective, right? Is that really about you or is that helping you change to get better, right? Is someone really coming at you and you're like, I'm going to react or what they're saying is actually going to help you to get better. I'm not taking it personal. Maybe he's seeing something that I don't see that I do need to work on myself. Maybe she's see something that I don't see that I do need to work on myself. Or you can say, I know I have that. I, I'm very disciplined. Oh, they weren't talking about me. They're talking about themselves. That energy you have to understand and manage it. So I would definitely agree with you in saying self-regulation will be the number one if we're talking about those five um, kind of points for emotional intelligence because I think managing yourself is going to be number one. Yep. Yeah, that was perfect. You agree? Yeah, it's 100%. Dope. So well, what's, well, your, what's, your, what's your, why do you agree? Uh, just like you said, you have to, basically, you're managing your emotions, yeah. right? We were just talking about emotional things. Yeah. You're managing your emotions. I mean, you said it's yeah. self-regulation, M- managing yourself. It's, yeah. That was personal. Your self-regulation, managing yourself, managing your emotions, managing your mindset, managing your thoughts, managing what you, you know, uh, look at on TV, what you let, 
what you believe, what you don't believe, what you, you know, uh, uh, the games media play, like, are you going to believe a, a bold-faced lie in media, or are you going to have your own way, well, think for yourself. Mm -hmm. Are you going to think for yourself, or are you going to believe everything that you see on TV, or someone says, or et cetera, et cetera. So. That, that's so a perfect point. Sheeps, Sorry. sheeps or wolves? Sheeps or wolves? Yeah. That's a perfect point that you just said, because this... Heads up, you, like Dre said, think for yourself, but why is that important? What does it have to do with self-regulation or self-discipline towards mastering your mindset? With any type of stimulus, it could be media, it could be anything else, but any type of stimulus, mm -hmm. you have to be aware that in some cases, they're designing that with sign, um, let's say, they're designing that stimulus that you get, like a commercial is one example. They're designing that with, and putting actual money into designing that commercial to create as much of a stimulus in you as possible. But if you don't, or if you're, if you're not able to self-regulate, then uh -huh. you did exactly what the, the paper said you were gonna do. And it's, um, mm, I had it, but go ahead, I'll, I'll get it again. I mean, one, one, one thing I always wanna turn to is, now that we're actually entrepreneurs That's and we're one. business owners, right? So RFX Studios and PBS, plus the prolific create, listen. <laughs> We have to understand that as business owners, we have a different type of regulation now. Mm -hmm. You see a shooting in this, our beautiful studio that we combine with Lucas Fitness Lab, and you see what we're doing at RFX Studios now, opening up, soft launch. It will be grand opening in January. So I want you guys to understand that. And the reason why we've been able to do that is when things come after us, we're adapting. We're able to regulate our emotions. COVID hit, we lose 70 to 80% of our revenue, some 100%. How we're able to stay consistent, that's the discipline that I was mm -hmm. talking about. Yeah, we want, and we want that, we want, what well, yeah, y'all was talking about, we want that for everybody, mm -hmm. anybody listening. Whatever your troubles are, we want you to overcome them. Whatever your traumas are, we want you to process them. Whatever your triggers are, we want you to be un untouchable, untriggerable, mm -hmm. all right? That's a constant thing that we all work towards. Yes. All right, mm -hmm. so, oh, but I just want to lose 10 pounds. I came to listen to this because I just want to lose five pounds. I right. just want to look, well, have you done that? Have you, have, you got, have you lost five pounds before? And if you have, can you do it again? Yeah. We're thinking ahead for you, okay? Even if you want to lose five pounds in a week, we're thinking ahead for you, all right? If you haven't done it before, or you've done it before, but you can't do it again, again. that's why we talk about, oh, what does self-regulation have to do with that? Yeah. Listen, you have to listen. Yeah. Okay, just put on your listening cap. <laughs> and listen oh okay so they're thinking ahead for me mm -hmm. oh wow they're planning mm -hmm. oh they're planning for me mm -hmm. wow mm -hmm. wow they're planning for me yes we're planning for you so i mean have a conversation about it like that's what we think because we, we we want you to get to to that result whether it's you losing five pounds getting in the best shape of your life whatever it is we want you to get there and not backtrack we want you to cross the street of change and 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 look for the next Street to cross. Progression. Not go, not go back. Mm -hmm. Progression. So as we're talking about emotional intelligence, I know this is a new concept to some. To some. Yeah. To some. I understand that. As we're talking about mastering mindset, you guys might be like, oh, yes, rainbows and sunflowers. Mm -hmm. What you have to understand is emotions are not real. They're fleeting. They're feeling. Right? Feelings aren't real. Energy is real. Right? And the energy that you spend on, if you spend energy on things like emotions, if you're just only in that mode, then you're always going to be fleeting. You have nothing concrete to kind of hold your hat on. And this is why I believe, listen, we're in the state that we're in now. One in four women, educated, beautiful, especially my melanated women, are medicated, mm. antidepressant. Oh, yeah. Now you mm. decide why that is. Educated, college grad, beautiful, own businesses, one in four. So that means you know one of them. One of them might be in your family. Mm -hmm. This really hits home for me. Why are we in that state? Sorry, is it just uh, women of, of color? Women of color are hit the hardest when it comes to the, the, the disparity and ratio of as educated as they get, of a more of a boss that we see our beautiful women are doing, but then the level of stress they have and they can't regulate it or they haven't been taught to regulate it. As men, 
we know this, whether it's socialization or whatever you want to call it, you may regulate it. No one's coming to save you. Mm -hmm. Make sure you have discipline. It's grained in. So I don't know if it's something that's been grained in us, that we know we have to be disciplined. We know no one's coming to save us. Mm -hmm. Right? That could be the correlation of having that elevated stress, but not having the emotional intelligence to regulate or to manage that stress of these, all these emotions of being high or looking as high in the society. You hit it, you, you hit it right on the head. Like that was perfect. Um, that, and also I feel like the information that they're getting or what they want to digest or what they want to believe is, well, one out of four, whatever, they see in a commercial or right. reading it, they take, antidepressant or medicine, right. we have that medicine to combat that. Oh yeah. How are they reacting <laughs> off of what? Off of what? What are they, re what, what are they making the decision off of? Emotions. Fear. fear. Emotions. emotions. Fear, obviously, but emotions. Not saying the goal is to not rely on that, right? Because they're offering you, hey, I have something else for you for how you're feeling. <laughs> I, gave you something, I gave you something to fix how you're feeling, but then the company's saying, wait a minute, they're probably cousins. The company, the company is probably related. They're like, wait a minute. Mm -hmm. I know how you're feeling. Let me give you something else. Exactly. And then the next one comes. The next and one then the next one comes. And then the next one comes. And then, the and then you never really dig and then, deep and then, and then they look find at, out so yourself. Keep that. And then they look at us taking protein powder. They're like, oh my God. That's bad yeah. for you. That's bad for you. Protein taking powder. supplements. Taking supplements <laughs> is bad, bad for you. For you. Do, so, do you know in order for supplements to work, you have to hydrate yourself so you can push the nutrients into the body? You actually have to eat oh, the right foods. Perfect. For it to work, do you actually know you have to take, uh, you can't just take a multivitamin or fish oil or mm. whatever and it work instantly? Yo, do you know you could take Advil and it masks the pain instantly? So how is it a drug? You have to get it in the body. It takes a, what, at least some supplements take a month of consistency mm. for it to actually work. So that relates, that correlates perfectly to the theme just now. If... That's what I'm saying. If you take long term, they they don't want to. They rather not go naturally because it's a long term. They don't see it instantly. Right. Everybody want instant. Well, well, instant. well not even right. the correlation is even if you like you said even taking protein powder, you still have mm -hmm. to do the other habits to get the results. Good. Even if you're taking anything else, mm -hmm. even if it's for your emotional health, antidepressants, you, mm -hmm. you still mm -hmm. have to do the work on the side. Mm -hmm. You cannot ever rely on Damn, there's no magic pill. There's never a real quick fix, right? You have mm. to always add in the work with whatever pill you're taking. But they don't preach that. I wonder why. It almost seems like they want dependency. And what we're talking about is self-sovereignty. If you don't know that fancy word, it's one of my favorite. That means you have full control over yourself, mainly in the five pillars. And that's why we're always talking about it. You can control your mindset. We were talking about manage and regulate it. You can kind of control your sleep by making your environment the best it can be to induce good sleep. You can kind of control your nutrition, but you have to make sure that your nutrition was made specifically for you. And nutrition, you actually have to have mental nutrition. Remember that. You're feeding your brain. What we're giving you is positive vibrations and frequencies. If you accept this and do something, then you will also have, you have, uh, also have positive energy and frequency. So that nutrition has to be specifically to you. Then you have to make sure that you master how your body recovers in the physical realm. You also can eat for that. You can also think to help positively for physical recovery. And the last is exercise. I know you guys checked out our last video. Fire, please Ooh, comment. Fire. You know, check it out. But we're talking about that ma mastery of mindset. So I want to put it on a platter for you guys to eat this up, right? We're talking about mental nutrition. What can we give the audience out there? What can we give our people that want that information? How can they actually feed their minds to make sure they can master that mindset? To make sure they can have that self-regulation, that emotional intelligence. What would they be able to eat figuratively? I would say read any material that helps you understand the history of yourself. Because I think 
if someone if, I, if someone has no motivation at all, I would just say I would just say that I would just say start to explore your history. Like, what is your history? What's your story? And what are the favorite elements of your story? And what are you trying to use to? I don't know. I, I want to kind of say that another way. I just you can take that however you want. I think it's important to know your history. It's important to know. You can you can think about it. it's important to know your ancestors. I'm thinking someone. You're talking about for mental nutrition, right? I'm That's like good. mental nutrition if it's for someone who's needs it, or or just just know, learn about yourself. That's, you can read you can read a book, any book on self awareness, Audible, regular book, anything on. You know, some some things you can't find in books though. That's why some things you have to speak to your family members mm -hmm. if you have them, or or you know find your own story if you don't have your own story. Like, actually, not the, the factual story, okay? Not the stories on the gram, okay? Okay, that's different. Those, those are the highlights. Exactly. That's different. Exactly. Find the unfiltered, raw history points. So and knowing, and see, knowing and your from wherever your mind goes from that, like, that's, that's up to you. I'm just saying, that. if that's the first point, go ahead. I love that. Stand Kofi. Woo! Stand Kofi, you know, come on. Ghana. Ha! Stand up. Go back. <laughs> go back. It means, Stand Kofi means go back. To learn your history from whence you came, or else you will be succumbed to repeating whatever you came from. So you have to understand, go back and get that knowledge. That was I love you. That was alley. I love that. You thought I couldn't. I love that. That was good. So Drake, what are you what are you thinking? What what can they feed on? What can they feast on? Let me just give a kind of everything y'all were saying. Let me just put it in there. Um, I don't trust. <laughs> <laughs> I've been on point, bro. Like, Drake just inspired me. Now nah, I gotta be on point with communication, boy. <laughs> I, don't trust, I don't trust none of this, bro. Um, gotta hustle me, bro. Always. So this is because it's what we're speaking yeah, about, right? One hundred percent. Always um, strive for progress. Know that you're a work in progress, right? Mm. Um, you know. Life is a roller coaster, right? Emotion, emotional. We're talking so, right? Emotional roller coaster, all that stuff. Um, and you know, just um, be patient. Patient is your power, baby. Patient is our power, right? Patience is. Come on, er, er, man. Patience is er, everyone. Yeah, patience. Come on, be man. patient. It's not gonna happen overnight. Let me get up. You just gotta be patient. <laughs> <laughs> so I love this. Going back, learning your history, see where you came from, yeah, being able to see. Patience is power, is that what you said? Patience is power. Patience is power. You have to be patient, have the discipline. I would think that being disciplined is a sense of being patient and trusting the process and the process of trust. I'm going to leave it with this. This is very simple, you guys. <laughs> very simple. <laughs> be better than you were yesterday. Progression is perfection. Always strive to thrive and not merely survive. Always then remember... You guys, comment, like, subscribe. If you want to be better. If you, okay, let me. If you want to be better. Disclaimer. Disclaimer. If you want to stay the same and you do not want to get better, don't subscribe. Hey. <laughs> don't subscribe. If you want to stay in pain <laughs> and you don't want to get no leg, don't subscribe. One more time. One more hey. time. We the Vitality Ham, but we giving it to you raw. Hey. Try to be better than where you were before. Hey, 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 hey. Bars. Hey, hey. Bars. hey man, let's get into it. it. That's it. It's over. Ah. It's over. 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 <laughs>